Julian, you're a couple rebounds away from a triple double. Yeah, I'm kind of upset right now that I just figured it, found that out. I wish nobody would have told me that, but I got to get it. Sometime I have to get it. I thought you really gave your team some energy in the first half when, when maybe the team was struggling a little bit. Oh yeah, you know uh, one of my roles is you know if Randy's not getting uh, his shots and not making the shots right away, I have to step up, and that's one thing about being a leader. You have to do things, you know, when your teammates have him down. So I felt like the first half I had to you know do a little bit more and be a little bit more aggressive until Randy got back, and once Randy came back, I just do it to him and let him do what he does. You're about to begin your fourth trip around the league. How is this team prepared for conference play? Uh, we're prepared. You know, we're still young. We got new people going through this, but for the most part, you know, our, our veteran leadership should take, carry us through conference, and we're really excited about it. How do you look at the call? Good wake up. Oh, it's a great wake up call. You know, uh, coming down, this team punched us in the mouth. In a conference getting down like that, it, 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 it's not good. So, you know, it was, it was a good wake up call. We played a real tough team, a well, well talented team, and a well coached team. So, that was a perfect game for us to prepare for conference. Oh yeah, that's that's for that's for any shooter, you know. Especially uh, being in a slump, like I said, you know, once you hit a a couple of shots and get going, you know, the, the basket, you know, start looking like a garbage can. Like you can you can make anything, and, and that's exactly what happened. You know, uh, got my confidence back, and you know, my teammates and the, my coaches, you know, they told me, you know, to keep playing my game and and don't force anything and just relax, you know, because uh, before the, the uh, Sun Bowl tournament, uh, we had a a, a man to come and hypnotize us and he told us uh like if you if you don't want to go to sleep you know you're not gonna go to sleep it's just like with me if if i keep saying i'm gonna miss the shot i'm gonna miss the shot you know of course i'm gonna miss it and you know that's how floyd told me was to uh, just relax and and knock down the next shot how do you fight through things like that things aren't going is it just a um i the thought process, or just keep doing the uh, motion, the repetition. Just, just keep doing it. You know, don't, um, don't, don't stop doing what I used to do uh, because I was in the shooting slum. You know, uh, that, and I also call my mom, my grandma. You know, I had to vent to them and you know let them know what's going on. You know, they, they always, you know, have my back, and, and that's why I love them. So did you get hypnotized? Yeah, I actually, yeah, I did get hypnotized then. He had my neck down so long that it started cramping, so I lost all focus, and it was over <laughs> with from then on. Yeah. Did you, did you have to awesome. do anything? Um, I don't remember anything, but I'll, they recorded us, and I think one thing he told us to, when he said Texas, that the person next to us was, you know, was gonna smell. So I guess when he said Texas, I start. Like smelling the next person, but you know, I don't remember anything. Somebody got a YouTube video of that up there somewhere? Um, probably one of these guys, because all I heard was laughing, but I, I, I couldn't open my eyes, so all I heard was laughing. <laughs>